Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone! This is what Google have done recently, today. Irish dancing! For St. Patrick's Day, obviously. Oh, how are you all? You good? You good? Good. I was working yesterday and I got some more DVDs, which are over there. I think you can probably see those. Um. My charger for my iPod is not working properly, so I have to have it upwards so it'll charge, which is a bit of a pain. I have some blackjacks here. Uh, Hellboy. Now that I'm doing this, I have nothing to say. Except for me and Bex have been having some very good times on RuneScape. It's so much fun. Um, she came over today to show me some stuff that I had not, I didn't know, which was good. Uh, last night I watched Love Actually uh, and it had Bill Nye in it and at the end he stripped off and I was just like my eyes we were watching earlier the um, Smeg Ups for Red Dwarf <laughs> they're great, they're hilarious uh, me and Bex like it when um, Chris Barry does the Kenneth Williams impression which is um, oh mate from oh oh yes now that kind of thing <laughs> we like it, it's great. I got this guy yesterday. It is James P. Sullivan from Monsters Inc. And I have another one. This one's from a uh, long time ago. <laughs> he, he speaks and stuff. Or oh, just does that a lot, one second. <laughs> Laughs. <laughs> I, I like Monsters Inc. but I haven't seen it in ages. Like, a long time. I need to watch it again. I do. It's great. It's a good movie. You should watch it. I really recommend it. <laughs> Put that thing back where it came from. Also, help me. Dun, 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 dun. If you uh, have seen the movie, you'll probably understand. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted to search. Ah. Searching uh, Ron Pillman's height. Because I found something earlier. I found it. I found um, a thing earlier, like a, an article about him. Oh, he is 1.85 meters, by the way, if you wanted to know. Um, so that's 185 centimeters. I don't know what that is in, but <coughs> he was born April 13th, 1950. So he's age 62, which is the same age as my dad. My dad is old, so it's good. He's six foot on the dot, apparently, but I think he's actually. But why inch or something like that, I think. Um, this is what I wanted to find. I like their description of him. One second. When it ever loads. Now that I actually want to show you, it probably won't load. Uh, he's been in recently, Sons, well, not recently, it's, uh, since 2008, Sons of Anarchy, which started, which I have in my favourite spot. It's a really good uh, program, you should watch it if you like that sort of thing. I don't know whether you do. Um, it's like Hells Angels bikers kind of stuff, it's really good. Come on! Oh, it's loading just as I said that! Oh, I'm magical, and I have broken it, I think. Oh, oh yes. Oh. That's an interesting photo. There. If you can see that, I hope you can. I will never find out when I upload this. Um oh and there's this picture of Hellboy which I think is good. That one. I hope you can see that because you know I can't see whether you can. So uh I liked this description of him, even though it's a bit like, you know. Um, tall and hulking as a teen, oh, one minute. Tall and hulking as a teen, Ron Perlman had a low forehead, deep set blue eyes, a large mouth, and an imposing jaw. He felt different, awkward, but a sense of humour helped overcome some of insecurities, and so did acting, which he discovered during his teens. Could slip, he could slip into characters on stage and disappear into other places for a while. It's no coincidence, he says, that some of his first 
some of the first characters he played professionally required a significant amount of makeup. The caveman in Quest for Fire and his breakthrough role as a lion man in the hit TV series Beauty and the Beast, 1987. Go watch it, it's great. You can probably search it somewhere, I don't know. They all happened during a period of my life where I was more comfortable behind the mask than I would have been naked. Like this, he said, pointing to his face. It freed me. It made me feel... It made me freer because it was no longer me. It was trans a transformed version of me, which was very abstract in relation to my own persona. If you want to... Whoa. If you want to read the rest of that, the link's there. I hope you can see that. If not, then I'm very, very sorry. But that's what the link is, so you'll have to type it and stuff. And the, uh, you could probably type actually, after years as an actor, Ron Pillman is finally getting comfortable in his own skin. If you type that in, it should come up. But yeah, I think, I think that's a really good description. So. I like Ron Pillman. He's awesome. He's a good actor. He's a brilliant actor. If you've never seen any of his films, then search him and go watch one. Wow, this is a long article. Yeah. If you've like never heard of him or anything, just go search him because he's a really good actor. My favorite role, he plays Hellboy. Obviously, like Hellboy's amazing. Um, there's a white van outside my house. That's quite creepy. Um, he played a dude in Kronos, which was not satisfied satisfied with his nose, unfortunately, and it got broken twice in the movie, which is unfortunate. Um. Oh, Bex gave me a new charger because mine's not working very well. Surely I'm things to say now, so. Although we've done seven minutes, so I think I'll leave it there. Two seconds, two seconds, two seconds. I cannot find my thing. Two minutes. Minotas, give me just one minota. There we go. So, I think for now, we'll leave it at that, because I really can't think of anything else to say. So, I will see you all later.